I'm Aria Soha. I've been at Fermilab for 15 years and I'm an engineering physicist. So the very first time I was running the Tevatron solo, we got everything going, took a couple hours at the start of shift and then everything was fine. We got to sort of relax. About half an hour later, uh, CDF calls and they've got losses in the machine. So I start pulling up some plots and start looking at the losses and some other parameters that I know of. and. I can't tell what's causing the losses. So I call over my senior op and he comes over and looks over my shoulder and tells me to pull up a few more things and look at some more stuff and he can't figure out what's going on either. And then all of a sudden we lose the store. In the collider mode, once we made enough antiprotons, we would then fill the Tevatron with antiprotons and protons and then collide them together and that was called a store. Just so happened that at the same time, on the other side of the room, the booster lost all of its beam and the main injector lost all of its beam. And so the other three operators in the room are all looking at trying to figure out what's wrong with the booster and the main injector. And those machines refill every two seconds. So they were fine in a couple minutes. And we had absolutely no idea what caused any of anything. And we spent the rest of the night troubleshooting the quench uh, for the Tevatron. Meanwhile, um, the great Dwayne Plant was sitting at home uh, and he's watching the e-log because that's what we do for fun. And he's got the news on in the background and he's watching us make entries in the e-log and he sees that we lose the store. On the news in the background, he hears there's a magnitude seven earthquake in Alaska. And it just so happens that he had put some motion detectors in the Tevatron about a week or so ago. And so he starts pulling those up and looking at it. And so the next day we come into shift and we find out that I lost my very first store to an earthquake, which was good because it wasn't a rookie mistake. So then after that, we learned to install ground movement motion sensors in basically all of the tunnels now. And we learned to look at earthquakes 